today we've been testing out the auxiliary spring the, the power valve spring on the ktm 250 two stroke if you purchase the bike from new you do actually get these uh, standard um you know jets and the springs for me personally you know i've i've done lots of testing with these um over the years even with um back in the day on the 300 um and you know and it, and it does all depend on what what cc you ride and what your bike setup is um to what spring you're going to like and to and to what spring you're going to find works for you you know the red spring is is a lighter spring so it opens up faster gives you a, a much more of a um much more of an aggressive hit um it's probably a little bit harder to ride with in all honesty i don't really enjoy that spring um whether it's a 250 or a 300 so my advice to you is would not to bother using that spring whatsoever the standard spring is yellow and the green spring is the the thicker spring which delivers the power a lot smoother so it takes away the hit also it stretches out that power curve a little bit a little bit more it's not stretching it out as in like giving you extra revs but just because the it, it produces a linear curve so it feels like it stretches it out more when you're riding on the track for me, the, the two springs to be used would definitely be, you know, the, the green spring, the stiffer spring, or the yellow spring, which comes standard. The green spring, if you're an enduro rider, um, you're going to find this spring really useful in, like, in riding through the woods, you know, because it just helps. It just makes the bike, makes the bike um, deliver a power in a, in a much more usable, friendly way. Uh, it's not so nervous. The, the stiffer spring definitely a must in the in the enduro world also in the motocross world you know if the if the tracks the tracks baked hard and, and as you can see now the, the conditions have changed in the uk the weather conditions and you know summer's finally here and it's and it's rock hard and baked hard so that spring that spring you can you can you can put in the bike and you know as long as you can adjust it right then you know you're going to get the most from that from that spring and the most from your engine for me i really do like the on on the setup that I'm running and the bike that I've got behind me on the 250, I prefer the standard spring and uh, and I just wind it in just a little bit, you know. For me normally, I'm, I'm roughly about one and a half turns and that's from completely flush. The more that you, you wind in, obviously the more load you're putting on the spring. So so basically what's gonna happen then is is that um, it's, gonna be hot, it's gonna be harder for the power valve to open, you know, so, it, so that hit's not gonna be there. So you're mellowing the bike out. I like it so when it comes out of the turns that I know what the throttle's going to do, you know, and I, and I can basically trust in the rear wheel. You get the spin on if I want to get it to slide. If not, I can take a gear higher and I know that the bike's going to pull it, you know, so that there's basically there's more torque and, and you've got to get that balance right. But you've got to feel it out on track and, and feel what works, works for you, you know. So, some riders like the power to come in a little bit early on, on the throttle so they can, especially in these conditions, so they can get that bike uh, spinning a little bit early and, and they use that to turn. Some don't, you know, they just like it to drive and coming out of the turns and obviously the harder that you go in with the spring, the less spin that you're going to get and the less the, the throttle is going to be re um, responsive so or, or have that aggressive hit. 